What's up guys? So the time we all have been waiting for is finally here. Pangu released a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.2 and 9.3.3. So finally there is a jailbreak and now today I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak your R device. So first of all let me just get some stuff out of the way. So this jailbreak is semi untethered. Uh, meaning if it's semi untethered that means that uh, every time when you reboot your device when you reboot it not respring respring doesn't count only only reboot when you actually reboot your i device um, you have to you have to go into the pp assistant app which uh, you have on your i device and re jailbreak but that takes only like two seconds, so it's almost untethered. So this is not a downside for me. But um, anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do it after I am jailbroken. So second, uh, this jailbreak is only for 64-bit devices. So if you have a, so basically, basically that means that this jailbreak is compatible with iPhone 5s and up. So if you have lower than iPhone 5s, you're not going to be able to jailbreak. I'm sorry guys, but that's it for now. I have no idea if Pangu plans to release a jailbreak for 32-bit devices. They have not said anything, so just keep that in mind. So, after I got that stuff out of the way, now comes the jailbreak tutorial. So how to jailbreak? Well, first of all, before jailbreaking, as usual, just go into airplane mode and disable the Chadian passcode. So after you have done that, um, we can start the jailbreak tutorial. So I'm gonna be right back. So first of all, I have to apologize guys because this video will have a lot of cuts because I constantly have to switch between the PC and the device and the device is over there so I cannot just spin the camera, it just looks dumb. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut it a lot, so just gonna apologize in advance for the great number of cuts this video will receive. And let's start with the jailbreak. So first of all you have to download this PP Helper uh, Assistant app, which uh, I'll have the link down below to the description, so you can download that. So just decided to get that out of the way because the website is in Chinese. Um, it, you just have to press uh, this button right there to download the app and once you've done it just um, go back to where it was downloaded and we're gonna continue and um, uh, just keep in mind guys that it takes about 30 minutes to download so be patient at least for me it took 30 minutes and uh, so after you have the app and your device is connected I'll just stop spinning the camera now so uh, yeah your device is connected um, so now we can start the jailbreak process so first of all uh, go into your PC and open up the app first of all just to keep that in mind guys um, so you're gonna have to have your device unlocked for this process to work fine just keep your device unlocked. Don't lock it, keep it unlocked. Turn off auto lock so it doesn't lock itself. So everything runs smoothly. So once you've done that, open up the app. I'm sorry the camera is a bit shaky, but I can't put it anyway, I have to hold it. And open up the app, run it as administrator. Right there. And if uh, you have Windows 10, you have Windows Smart Screen, just Press that one anyway and click yes. So this is how the app looks like. Just tap on the only button that you can see <laughs> and it's gonna prepare. And I'm gonna sit through here and wait. This is gonna be a really fast process. It's almost prepared now. And when it does, you will see in a moment.
and actually prepares it will load up that window just tap here press here and it's gonna open up the application so just wait for it to open up the application on your computer sorry uh, and If the firewall asks you allow access to your network, allow access to everything it asks you to do. Uh, this firewall is driving me crazy, but just allow the access. And there is the app. There it is, and that green button is the jailbreak button. Just tap, uh, press on it, and it's gonna start the process. So, this is gonna take some time to load up, but once it does, I'll be right back. So, if it requires that, just enter it, just enter these capture or whatever it is and just I guess tap here <laughs> so it should just do something now so you just tap this uh, button and it will actually jump you and so this will jump jump you into the settings and i didn't open my settings it jumped me right in so i'm sorry i couldn't record that it was really fast but um i mean it just when you tap that you, when you press on this button you saw me press um your on your iphone it will automatically jump you into the um, device management without you needing to press anything so at this point what you need to do is go to this profile and trust it so just trust the profile and actually you have to uh, exit out of airplane mode now in order to verify the app and then verify it and tap on the verify and the app is verified so now what you want to do is actually go back to your home screen and open up the PP jailbreak app that just installed on your, on your device so now just open it and allow notifications guys this is a very important part this is a part of the exploit so you have to allow notifications after you do that when you do that you actually have to tap here and after that go to your lock screen so go to your lock screen and you will receive a notification you will get that notification and now the jailbreak is going and leave the jailbreak leave it going on in the background don't touch your device just leave it going on in the background and eventually your device will respring and when that happens I'll be right back once your device has resprung you can uh, just unlock it and you are jailbroken you are now jailbroken thanks to Pango and PP so oh my god guys has this been a long wait but finally it's over you can now jailbreak your device using this tutorial and let's open Obsidia as you can see it's working fine ah this is so pleasing <laughs> yeah like have like having the ability to jailbreak after such a long wait is so pleasing well okay so now after you open Obsidia just let your sources to refresh so now that it has refreshed, just go to the search bar and by the way you don't have to be plugged into the PC by that point so you can safely unplug your device 
and so now you want to search for Apple File Conduit 2 and this is absolutely necessary guys uh, this is a part of the jailbreak, a very important part of the jailbreak as you can see it will also install the CZR Substrate and Substrate Safe Mode which as you know are very important so just after you jailbreak download this tweak don't download anything else download this tweak first so after you download this tweak um, it just confirm it will just install it and we will have to restart the springboard and just like this And our device has resprung and now you can enable touch ID and passcode at that point if you want to by the way so I will enable them back but um, now we have um, we have Apple File Conduit 2 installed and as you can see this uh, everything is installed and we are ready to go now let me show you what happens when you have installed tweaks I'll just install one review NC9 here, it's compatible with this jailbreak, I'm gonna install it and um, just to have a tweak installed so you can see what happens if you reboot your device after you have tweaks installed and CD running. Uh, if you remember, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is a semi untethered jailbreak, which means that once you reboot your device, you have to re-jailbreak it. So I'll just show you how easy that is and um, here I have it, this tweak basically what this tweak does is it adds the iOS 10 animation to the um, even when you are in iOS 9 as you can see just like this so I'm gonna have a tweaks video coming for you soon so don't worry I'll show you the compatible tweaks soon but um, first of all now I'm gonna show you what happens if you have tweaks installed and you reboot your device so just power it off and then power it back on and now you will just see in a moment here when it powers on Just a moment to enter my SIM pin here. Okay, so so now as you can see, there is no animation in the control in the notification center, so the tweak with NC9 does not work, and CDR crashes. So how do we fix this? Well, just go into the PP app and we jailbreak. Just leave it like this, and then go to your lock screen. And we should receive notifications now, a notification, and our device should respring. And after that's done, let me just unlock my SIM once again. And now if you open Obsidia, you can see it works. And if I try to open my notification center, you can see that this uh, tweak with NC9 still works. So there is that nice animation. So the tweak review NC9 works. And so uh, this is it, guys. This is for this video. Uh, it's really easy to re jailbreak after you reboot your device. So this jailbreak is very near to untethered. It is semi untethered, yes, but it's very close to untethered. As you can see, all it takes to re jailbreak your device is like, like what, two seconds? And uh, then a few more seconds to, in order for your device to load. So it's really quick and really easy, guys. So this is amazing. Before I end this video, I just want to say huge thanks to Pango for doing this. This is really just so amazing. Huge, huge thanks to Pango for doing this and um so this is for this video guys i will have tweaks videos 
coming your way soon so stay tuned for that leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more videos and peace out